Hi, and welcome back to the Rye RoboDude channel. Listen, it's been a long time since I posted anything useful on YouTube. Um, I've been working in El Paso, Texas. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. And just because of my work, I am unable to make videos. I'm in a small apartment here. Um, but what this video is gonna be about is uh, something that I decided to do as a small project just to occupy my time and to, you know, educate myself. I, I bought an Arduino board and a bunch of other little parts, and I'll show you that stuff here in a minute. Um, so stand by. Here we go. First of all, this is an Arduino board right here, and it's a company in uh, Italy that makes and sells them, and it's all open source code. Now, as far as I can tell, it seems to be C++. Um, you know, the syntax I'm not really familiar with, but uh, it seems to, you know, back in the, the 70s, 80s, uh, I used to write line number basic four next loops go subs you know that kind of thing so uh, the structure is sort of similar but the syntax is completely different but anyway this is what i'm going to be working on i'm just going to be playing with it i found a couple of really great sites of course youtube has videos basically it's open source code so when somebody um write something they'll post it online and it's free to use so there's just tons and tons of uh, all kinds of like accessories you can put on there um, you can if you want to automate anything you can do it with an Arduino board it's just limited in some ways but um, it's pretty interesting anyway I'm just gonna take it from the beginning and show you what the heck I'm doing the first thing I did for my project is I went to um, Goodwill and I bought a $12 office chair. I went to Walmart, bought a little table and a lamp. And so here is what I'm starting out with. Um, I got my USB cable, some jumpers. I got a 12 volt power supply from 120. Yeah, here's my Arduino board. Here's some breadboards that you use these jumpers to plug in uh, to do things. Here is a 16 uh, relay board. I don't know, I'm just gonna play with it. I got some 12 volt um, LEDs. Here is a converter from 12 volt to five volt because the Arduino and this board runs off of 12 volts. I, I'm sorry, five volts. I got a little kit here. It's got, you know, a little bit of everything in it. Um, it's cheap on eBay. You can find this stuff all day long. Uh, the Arduino board is around 20 bucks, maybe. And I found a really great site. This guy has great videos. Um, he gets really in-depth. He'll tell you everything that the pins do on all of the little chips. He's very thorough. He gets a little bit too deep for what I'm looking for, but it's RoboJax. And uh, he also has a website you can go to. It's robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. And it goes on forever. He's got videos and all of the source code. Um, so I downloaded one of his. And here's the source code. It's, you know, 
I just have to, it's got instructions, some instructions, but I'm just gonna have to figure some of it out. But all you have to do is plug your Arduino in, do the wiring, and just follow his tutorial online. Hook up the wires the way he says to, upload this, you just click this little button here when you've got the Arduino hooked up through the USB cable, through this little guy, and it runs. So how much simpler can that be? I guess after I get this thing wired up, I'll, I'll uh, show you what it does. All right. And you know, this is, I mean, I'm, I won't say I'm a novice at electronics, but I'm certainly no engineer. So I'm thinking just about anybody can do this. All right. You listening to me, John? My friend John broke his leg. I mean, he didn't just break it. He's got pins sticking out of his leg and his ankle, and he's pretty bummed out. And so when I ordered my stuff, because I'm bored sometimes sitting here, I figured, you know, John is into electronics and automation and stuff, so why not send him one? So, John, I know you're getting yours today, so I hope you're going to you know, put this stuff to use and occupy your time a little bit and get your mind off stuff. So, John, good luck. <laughs> and stand by for the rest of the video. Is ever, what project is ever complete without a trip to the box store, right? Yeah. <laughs> and an electronic store as well. I just returned from work and here's what I got. I got a screwdriver, I got some jumpers, way overpaid for these things, had to go to an electronics store. Um, don't need gloves, got a Dunkin Donut, and a pair of wire strippers, and some screws. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some cardboard and screw these boards down to the cardboard. Well, when all else fails, read the instructions. It's a it's a 12 volt relay board, my bad. So I've disconnected the um, five volt uh, because the 12 volts from this board actually has a five volt output to power the Arduino. So all I simply have to do now is just plug the 12 volts in. Oh, uh oh, there we go. It's working. So now I'm gonna try and modify the code and play with it and see what I can do. Okay, I've modified the time loop a little bit, sped it all up, and added an LED uh, off of one of the relays. Uh, my 12 volt LEDs, these Chinese pieces of crap, I hooked them up directly to 12 volts right here and uh, nothing. Can't get them to light. So I don't know what the hell. All right, well, I'm moving on. Well, here it is, day three. I've learned some interesting things about this uh, programming language. A delay goes through the entire program, so you can't use, delay is evil. If you put in a delay comment or a command uh, for like two seconds or a second, basically during that delay time and any pause, any delay you put in uses that one time and it seems to uh, use all the processor up when it's in delay mode. You can't do a button input or any kind of an input. So I'm looking into this thing called milli, millisecond timer or something. Anyway, it's it's a challenge, but uh, hey, if I ever come up with anything, I'll keep you posted in the next video. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.